Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Dabs and Drums. We got something f***ing special for you today. We got four-time Stanley Cup champion Detroit Red Wing number 25, Darren McCarty, D-Mac, right here, sitting Ooh, next to me yeah. on the Dabs and Drums couch. Over here right next to him, we got from Over the Moon Clothing, Damien, we got Brian from Fenton Hydroponics, and we got the maker of the Over the Moon Kush, Dabbage, right over here. Detroit Dab City, baby. On the show, we're gonna fucking sesh out, we're gonna fucking rock out, we're gonna do whatever the fuck we feel like, because we got Darren McCarty on the show, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. Hey, just so everybody knows at home right now, I'm, this is about the calmest that I've ever been, I just did a Over the Moon pre-show, you're going to see the after effects. So we're going to have a great show here. Give me about two minutes. <laughs> we're on. Fuck. <laughs> yes. So we got so much fire to show you today that uh, we're just going to show you as it fucking comes because, I, I mean, I'm overwhelmed with what we got here today already. I, I think I was showing, like, uh, I don't know, a million different strains that all look, uh, I don't know, top shelf as fuck. So uh, we got uh, also for us all, we got the monumental big old joint right here. Uh, we got some, uh, what do we got in here? We got some Bushmaster Kush. We got some uh, Care Bear number five. And uh, I think that's what we got. We got some awesome fucking flavors from uh, Detroit Dab City, Nug Abduction Extracts, Urban Farmer, uh, Pure, Michigan. Pure Michigan Extracts, <coughs> Captain Kush. Kush. It's, it's just a smorgasbord of delicious flavors here today. <laughs> so I asked this guy for a cut. I got to think it's and, healthy. Uh, I, I'm no doctor. I don't even pretend to be. I, I don't play one. I just know from experience. But <coughs> that's, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Describe the the flavor that you smell. I believe you described it best on uh, dabs and drums. Um, a bouquet, a bouquet of lemons. A bouquet of lemons. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I'm gonna go with that. I do so believe you said that. With yeah. a little bit of it. <laughs> a bouquet of lemons in my mouth. In your yes, mouth. Yes. I, I love Over the whole Kush. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Sin City Ooh. Seeds. Yeah. Is that what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yes. All right. I, on the we last day, we're just talking, man. Oh, did he have we're just dad. Yeah. Al, Al brought some over. Yeah. Oh, you got a, you got a pre dab yeah. drums. Yeah. Yeah. I got some when Al brought some over. What uh, you call it? Uh, I, a, a bouquet of lemons in my mouth. Uh, <laughs> so you got that buzz already, dude. Oh yeah. 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 That's Wait, that, 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 I, I, I gave you my leafy breakdown. Oh. Yeah. I and mean, then listen, <laughs> you didn't even hear about this. Uh, the other night at the meet and cheat, oh, as soon as I walk in, Damien gives me at least a half gram dab of that over the moon cushion. <laughs> at least a half gram dab of that. I it, seen you there. It was a euphoria. I it was a I seen you there. You it was were the floating, most. So I, that's what everybody said. That's what everybody said, and I was like, what? I was what like, I think you were tall, but I didn't think you were that tall. <laughs> yeah. I was like, man. Yeah, forgive me. Man, cousin here, he's he's like floating at seven feet right now. <laughs> Yeah, that's meat, that meat machine was off the hook, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill. Anything good out there for that people might, you know, that's that's coming out this oh, season man. or something that you guys think of one thing that maybe people Vitalize. that don't vitalize? Yeah, yeah, it's the truth. I love vitalize. Vitalize is the no. truth. Uh, I love the new double ended ball that just came out, man. That's what you gotta rock, man. That's the new way, man. Double ended the ball. Gavitas, the Gavitas, 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 man. Those, Gavitas. Are, those are rocking, bro. Shout out to Gavita. Yeah, yeah. Gavita. that shit's so high tech, man. That shit's so high tech, dude. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. my yeah. hydroponics. That's where we sell the shit out of Gavitas. That's right, man. <laughs> my out where you go. Know. <laughs> no, we do. We we do. It's a good no, product. No, your things, and that and, and that's the whole thing too. I think that. 
the one thing that for me is that you know I speak from my experience and the, the, the way that I've gotten into the medical marijuana community is because of my personal experience and how I've always said uh, it saved my life. But it's also too I say it's education and knowledge is power. Sure. And and surround yourself with guys that people, women too, uh, that are smarter than you and to. to to realize this, you know, it's uh, I've surrounded myself with these guys for the past, you know, four to six months, and it's amazing. I mean, I didn't even know how to dab. Well, I didn't even know how to dab. Meet you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We all come yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. Family. It's, out it's about the community, and it's about the knowledge and learning. And I can say, like sitting here, I'm off the booze for almost six months. I'm off awesome. all the pills except for my heart. Motherfucker, uh, hell yeah! Medicine. Awesome. I've lost like 30 pounds. Yeah. My, appetite, done, my appetite. My appetite is. Way bigger than it ever was. I never ate when I drank. That's fucking. Um, and just you know, my clarity and appetite, as Tommy Chong says, for life is there. You know what I want to make apparent for me standing out is that there's people out there to help, but there's also options for people that uh, in the same position that I might have been and felt trapped. Yeah. Because I swear I never would have thought that I would ever be able to feel free from. Not only just to put down the bottle, but to feel free from its like grasp, and that's just my story, yeah, you know. And I, I can just speak on mine, and I will challenge anybody because they, because I live in my shoes, and no one else does. That like makes me feel really good because you know, like that's how I feel. Weed saved my life, you know. I just hit uh, last Friday. I just hit four years sober from alcohol, oh, yeah. and uh, I was drinking. Man, uh, I said it on the last episode, but I, I was drinking like a fifth and a twelve pack a day every single day. Dude, I could not picture, I could not picture my life without alcohol. And standing on the other side or going through it and, and hating the detox, and, and again, without medical marijuana to detox, because every waking hour, I was, what I was eating was medical. And whether it was even uh, candy or something like that, just to get something in the system. Yeah. But the one thing with the back, it's if everybody's a fan of The Walking Dead, that's what it felt Love like. It, you know? trapped, you're trapped yeah. like a zombie by the by booze or by pills. I've been Remember, grasped yeah. by both of them. Yep. And you feel like that's how you look Correct. at you're it. You're, you're trying to escape. Your soul yep. is trapped in it like a zombie walking yep. around. And to be able to find that there's something out there, something out there that's natural, something out there that we know more about the universe than we do this plant. <coughs> this plant that the more we learn about and actually really educate ourselves because what you do is not who you are. It's regular people, everybody, it's democracy. Everybody's got a vote, everybody's got their own voice, whether they think they do or not. And everybody's got their own decision to make. But I encourage uh, and everybody to that can to get educated and ask questions to know so properly. And if you're against it, know why you're against it. Right. And that's fine yeah. because that's your right. Yeah. But, but also know my knowledge of it is is very minuscule compared to other people, but if I say if everybody knew as much as I did, everybody's perception would change. And I don't know that much, but I continue to learn. And and it's something that you know you can. Uh, it, it's it's a whole different way of life, and um, it's something that I think it it's supposed to be, and and it, and it just opens up so much more and and makes life and the life. way God intended it and yeah. to be enjoyed. No, and that's to be that's back. true. I it, it's you know I can't encourage anyone. He's back. More Google your endocannabinoid system. Find out about your endocannabinoid system. You know yep. what I mean. And, and when he's saying that in in hockey player layman's turn terms, that means your body. <laughs> and yet it's not prejudice from newborns to um, elderly. It yes. can help them in different ways. And uh, I want people to get educated because it's not reefer madness. And it's not this big terrible thing something been used for for yeah. centuries, centuries and centuries not only in this country but around the world yeah. and I would like everybody to get educated and then so we can act like that you're the expert big house I think Kevin did <laughs> I think got a little bit of Clarice expert judge Adams,
that inside, but Bushmaster Kush seems to be right in the middle of the of the indica sativa, leaning the flavor a little bit more towards the indica, but I feel like the bud structure a little bit more sativa. You know what I mean? I really like the smoke, I really like the smell of it. Dabs and gross. And then this is the Care Bear. Now the Care Bear is just kind of just like your run of the mill like indica, I feel like. Now which Care Bear is it for that? Is it the little pink one or the little white one? I like to think it's, yeah, the little one with the heart on his, on his belly. Yeah, because he's so sweet. <laughs> you heard it first, not dabs and drops. <laughs> dabs and drops, the sets that are files. <laughs> mm. uh, uh, I'll tell you what, it tastes good. Alright. How come dabs and drops are like stone, bro? Ooh, that's not well, great. Just get that caramel. Fuck it. Good. I'm dying to take a dab of this. We got some, uh, right here, we got some urban farmer distillate that was gifted to us for this special occasion right here gorilla glue number four in collaboration with physics labs oh, nice. we're gonna Shout try out this farmer yeah this is my first uh distillate <laughs> experience i guess you could say right here on dabs and drums Super low too. all right we got a fat 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 dab of distillate i want this to go look at the oil. i want this to go to dmac i think you should try this distillate first man this is gorilla glue four distillate it looks fucking <laughs> <fire>. what's that mean <laughs> Uh, that means it is, uh... <laughs> I heard a new word. Oh, I heard a new word. Hey, this is the education I'll, part of the program. <coughs> now, now you see it. I didn't know what a pistol it was. I'm not afraid to ask questions because I don't think it's a stupid question to ask. And if it was, they could laugh and whatever else, but then I'll know. So what is this? Uh, distillate is uh, pretty much it's made with uh, winterized oil, which is made with alcohol, and then basically it's uh, what turned into a, what you turn it into a gas, yeah. and then they it, like and, yeah, pretty much like, ready to make alcohol. Yeah, it's, basically. it's fucking next level shit. As a marketing guru, I would say that you would, that I would include that it, uh, I'd always say that what it does, it takes out the butane. No. Nope. Yeah, that's, because that's important because that's a key no thing. That's what you no don't butane. want. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, so there's no butane. It doesn't take out the butane. There's no butane. I'd say no, no butane ever yeah, applied. Simple. So the fact that we make it as simple as possible, so, th and it's easy that if you have uh, on it that, is, that you have something that it says, you know, like no, solvents so free almost, or whatever it is, yeah. like you have that and if they see things like that where they, they say, okay, it's a solvent, so then they would feel more comfortable with the and ask, okay, I see it's solvent free, and then they would get into like, oh, well then how do you make it and feel comfortable yeah, exactly. and you could break into, it yeah. opens up conversations, you can educate them on Take it from here. Yeah. Because you have them engage in conversation. Yeah. You can take them any direction that <coughs> they want to go. And who the fuck do you think you are coming to my house? This is God's house. You are now listening. How's that uh how was that? <laughs> Very subtle was uh this is right up Damien's alley because it's got that that OG that Kush back in the throat, yeah. back in the throat. I, you know, I grab you like I'm a pimp. But right. you know, hey, you like what you like. You smoke what you smoke, man. You know, and uh, the strains that I use work for my medical condition. So yeah, you and know, I just got lucky to find That's, find one right off the yeah. gate that tastes good and smells heavy good indica at the same time. You heavy know? indica so, all day all for me. Yes. I was uh, at, you know, I I talk about you know my alcohol use, but on top of that, I. I had, you know, what started out, I had extreme anxiety, mm -hmm. but then what with extreme anxiety came, you know, a benzo addiction, you know, to yeah. Ativan and such like that, you know, I took over 200, 2 milligram Ativans a month, you know what I mean, I was just like ridiculous with benzos, you know what I mean, so not only is the marijuana, you know what I mean, like get rid of help with yeah. getting off the benzos and such, but it's also a replacement for any anxiety medication I would ever need. This is my whole thing, I mean, I'm a big fan of looking into the weed and I want to, you know, ask and see what the buzz is like and because I'm always looking for, you know, whatever to, I want for different times. I call it the program. Everybody's program is different, but it's the thing is to educate yourself 
ask and investigate be because there are alternatives and options out there. Church like you said, no. instead of taking that, you know, for me, I drank a lot of it. You know, not being an alcoholic, it was, I didn't get sick what I drank, I got sick what I didn't drink, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and also, too, I was, I'm an insomniac, I couldn't sleep. And, but that's why I have the great strains. I love all the I love all the perks and actually Big Hoss has this uh, Dank Death Star. Dank Death Star. That <laughs> is my absolute favorite. Uh -huh. That is a dab if I've ever seen one. Holy <sighs> moly. Uh We got Darren McCarty taking the fattest dabs on dabs and drums, folks. It is dabs and drums, is it not? Fuck yeah. We brought you guys. Hey, speaking of that, this is a question. Big fan of the show. I would honestly watch. I love the interaction. I love the fact that, you know, uh, I've seen My you mind. around, you know, the church, church events and stuff. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? Right, like I'm the sure intercollector. So, you said you were playing drums since you were three? Yeah. So, who are your influences? Uh, one of my biggest influences always growing up was uh, Terry Bozio. Uh, he drummed for Frank Zappa for a long time. He did a lot of like uh, solo stuff. Um, uh, Tony Royster Jr., he was somebody that was just like maybe like. He's probably only like six or seven years older than me, but like he was an amazing drummer from the time he was like 11 years old. And I saw, I thought, oh well, if he could do it, well, then you know I can do it too. You know what I mean? And then just kept playing. Just it's, man, it's my fucking, it's like, it's my favorite thing to do. Yeah, it's it's the reason why. You know what? I I love taking dabs. I love mar I'm like like I said, marijuana's changed my life, saved my life. You know what I mean? And drums have pretty much done the same for me at a different time in my life. Or you know what I mean? Or kept me going through those times, you know what I mean? And fuck, man. It's fucking... I just, and it's oh. great when you can put your two loves together. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then, you know, whatever it is, it's not work. We brought you a special gift out today. Oh! Right? From Over the Moon Clothing. You think we'll like Over this? the Moon Clothing? Wall Check Lake. them out. Wild Lake. They Cold got a Ranch. fucking shop, dude. Ev that I'm learning it right now, man. Look at that <laughs> me shit. Me too, dude. Yep. Come on, man. These designs right. are fire, dude. This is our signature uh, wings. Everybody knows the classic yeah. over the moon design, but we, we put a twist on it when uh, me and D Max sat down and, and, and discussed uh, doing a project together. And um, well, as you can see, here's the uh, final outcome. <coughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, Fuck yeah. You saw it on Dabs and Drums. Super limited super edition. Super limited edition. Over the moon clothing. You're gonna see all that information down below. Moonrags.com, baby. Your sticker comes with it. Bam. I gotta do that. Bam. 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 You guys got a couple of events coming up. We got the fucking High Times Cannabis Cup coming up. What that's uh, June, June 10th through the 12th. 10th uh, through the 12th. Over the Moon Clothing Company will be there. Fan High Products will be there. Detroit Dab City will be there. D-Mac will be there. D-Mac will, 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 will be there. Dab City. Fuck yeah. Dab City will be there. Yeah. yeah. We booth up, booth life. You, you might just see, you might see me there, man. Yeah. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be there with the there. snare drum, baby. Like, just oh, it out, oh, yeah. bring it out there, yeah. man. Hey, you can sit beside yeah. me and entertain. Yeah, yeah fuck yeah. Hey, we'll dab out, sell some. Bring the drums, yeah. Take some pictures. Yeah. Yeah. I'll bring it. I'll bring a bass Fox, snare. Education. Oh, oh, bro, hey, kill that'd be a great people out there. Yeah, guys, come and ask questions. Friendly as community, please come get educated. Don't be afraid. Flint, Michigan. Questions. June 10th through the 12th, uh, is it in Clio still? It, it is at the racetrack. Clio, Michigan Clio. at the racetrack, You can also baby. go to hightimes.com for more info. Uh, we'll also have it on our Instagram, at Over the Moon Clothing Company, um, as the event approaches. So, we're there. Booth cool. Lake, baby. Cool. Grassroots, California. Uh, Hacks, Sin City Seeds will also be on the booth yeah. with us. So, that's the moment. It'll be a good it. time. Oh, you wanted to do that. My girl just got home. She wants to take a dab. Oh, Marijuana, you know what? Well, I'm going to actually put her in this episode. Marijuana has saved my girl's life, at least, you know, makes her quality of life a lot better. Has it? You know, we're, we're working on it, but uh, she actually uh, yeah. suffers from uh, multiple sclerosis. Wonderful. That's Did you want to you talk a little? You want to say what multiple sclerosis is? Uh, I have a neurological disease, and it's when you're. It's when your immune system attacks your nervous system. So I have 
basically my immune system is going after my nerves and my brain and my spinal cord. I've tried a lot of injections, a lot of intramuscular injections, a lot of interferons, a lot of things that gave me like anaphylactic shock, left out cast on the floor, I've had fevers over 105 degrees, like shakes, like, and not one of it helped my MRI stabilize, it didn't stop the progression, it didn't do anything, it made me feel crappy. So now I just smoke weed, and I feel great, and you know, I still have bad days, and then I smoke more weed, and then I feel better. Well, here it is. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How that goes. Dabs, baby. Marijuana. Saving yeah. fucking lives. Yeah. Making lives better. Awesome. You know? Now, let me be your dab guy for this adventure. <laughs> uh, will you please yes, have that right for You're going to experience the over and over crush. This is wonderful. It is headband by blue, by blue power. So this is the buzz you're going to feel. This is going to feel like it's going to be strong, headbandy. It's going to go attack your body first. It's going to go down. You're probably going to cough. Or you're going to feel it like you're going to cough. He's going to write this. But, but don't like worry. I want him to write the same but, but don't yeah, worry. He's going to write it. It will, at, at your, when you lease it at the end, you think it's going to get worse? It'll take you on. It's like an escalator. It's like <laughs> yeah, escalator. Right, you don't even have to try to get out of here. It'll yes. take you and it'll take you yes, back up is. to here. And it'll stop you for a moment. And it'll catch your breath. And then all of a sudden it'll go right. boom out your eyeballs. And you'll be like, what yeah. is that? I'm ready for that. So, with the, <laughs> so please enjoy your over the moon kush. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. I love coming on this show. Man. Yeah, for so. You think I don't? Oh, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you just introduced me to a new world. Now I get to come on like the primo dab show. I get to dab my face off. I'm actually not spitting and spewing all over the place like I used to. You heard it from Darren McCarty. The primo dab show. <laughs> That's it. Dabs and drums, baby. Here's, here's the replay on that. Now I get to come on like the... Primo dab show, I get to dab my face off. Primo dab show, I get primo dab show. I <laughs> you heard it <laughs> on Dabs and Drums, the Primo Dab Show from the one and only Darren McCarty. I love it. Hockey legend, man. He's here on my couch. Shout out to Ken and Mary Jane. Yeah, yeah, and and my Mary Jane, you guys will see all that information down below. You can check out both of those. There's two videos down below. There's one with some education, and then there's one with a little bit of fun and some fucking, some fucking dabbing, some fucking smoking. Uh, and then uh, also, uh, you know, uh, searching through YouTube, man. I check out. Uh, you guys also got uh, Over the Moon's got a uh, complex. Uh, Motor City High. Yeah, Motor City yep. High. Motor City High. We're pretty good with that. We almost had a million clubs. Yeah. 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 Motor City High, you know my show, Motor oh. City High. That's how we met. <laughs> you don't remember that? Listen, that was a moment for me, bro. Okay. He was like, I'm a fan of your show. Oh, I'm yeah. like Darren McCarty, fan of my show. It's hey, dope. hey. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, this and this is how things get done. If you don't, you know, as, as far as it, it's such another one of the messes that like, if, if you use marijuana and you know that you're lethargic and you don't do anything. Are you kidding me? The most go-getters and most disciplined people that I know. And as far as getting things done, you want to mention that. My wife had mentioned it to me and I called him in the afternoon and, and said, well, if you want to do it, let's do it tonight. I gave him three hours. I gave had three everybody hours. there the in the camera. And so <laughs> what I'm saying is that not only Damien, I have over the moon clothing for your certifications, which is where I go through, or your clothing, which I go through, and, <laughs> and, and all that is, is exactly is is 
check it out. He's a go-getter and a getter done, and, and, and we're all about, he's definitely about giving back to the community awesome. as he does, and, to, yeah. and we want to get the word out. We want to educate and get the word out and let him know that, you know, stuff like this. Fuck yeah. Is to have fun, is, is, you can have fun doing it, enjoy life. And you know what, like this, is we have we have the avenue to do it, and it's it's all about community, and we love this. Fuck it's yeah. legal. Yeah, think about this. This is how this all got together, you know? I did, yeah. uh, I did a show with my boy Al, the Prince of Darkness, and the yeah. Goon Squad. Then that's how me and Damien ended up linking up. Yep. Then Damien ended up showing that to DMAC over here, and that's how we yep. ended up linking up. And then look at us, we're all fucking smoking on the yep. thing. I smoked this fire ass over the moon kush. That's how we ended up linking up <laughs> over here. We're fucking, he's dabbing out, every, Brian's dabbing out everybody over here, man. Like, are you kidding me, dude? Brooke, the best equipment from Fenton Hydroponics. Fenton Hydroponics, yeah, all that info down below. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna play some fucking drums and shit, and that's 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 it, man. That's right. right yeah, yeah, that's that's some drums, baby. Thank you guys. Yeah. They have some drums right. right here. Hey, I'll roadie you. With the assist. <laughs> I'm the roadie. Thank you so much. Fucking Darren McCarty, number 25, fuck was, yeah, <laughs> Over the Moon Kush, Fenton dude. Hydroponics, yeah. Detroit Dead City, oh, fuck oh, yeah, oh, shout oh, out to oh, Urban oh, Farmer, oh, Captain oh, Kush, fucking uh, this week's winner, Tom Coronado. Tom Coronado, <laughs> baby. <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> fuck yeah. Tune in next time, baby. We'll have something sweet, because we, we like to. Yeah. All right. Fuck yeah. Have the drums out, baby. Yeah, fuck baby. yeah. All right. <laughs>